Hawks Hill course at Newmacher Golf Club was once again the venue for the end of season pro-am for the under-15s on the Paul Laurie Foundation 2014. On what was a cold and crisp October day, nine teams of three golfers joined up with a professional each to head out in four balls to try and get one last victory before the end of the season. Now, straight on with the action, out to the first green, or rather just next to it, Jonathan Bell with a rather novel way to make it close to the hole out the bunker, using the full bank there, trying to hit the cameraman, I think. He was part of the team headed by Malcolm Isaacs, playing alongside Fraser Strachan, who'd also missed the green, ended up at the bank, but look at this. Lovely little chip down to the hole side, and this team one to watch. Out to the third now, Robin Gallen. One of the three girls playing today out in the Craig Laurie team and a beautiful bunker shot. Uh, of course, wonderful etiquette, raking the bunker behind her. Now, out to the fifth, Tyler Ogston. This was his third shot on the short par four. He'd uh, found a little bit of trouble in the trees off the tee. But another man knowing how to use the contours. Look at this. Very nearly holding out for a spectacular birdie. And, well, moving on down, playing alongside Sam Craig, the local pro here, Andrew Cooper was their pro, and Sam, this was his third shot, he too very nearly getting a spectacular birdie. And this team looking pretty tasty early on, and the third golfer playing in the Andrew Cooper team was Jamie Smith, a rather more orthodox attempt at a birdie. Having found the green in two, and in the back door, beautiful three there from Jamie Smith, and Andrew Cooper's team going along very nicely. Back now to the first, and this is Megan Ashley. The professional for this team was Philip McLean. Now Megan had found a bunker with her approach, but what a marvellous up and down. That ball was never anywhere else other than the middle of the hole. Great stuff there from Megan, and we are being treated to some very fine golf. The third girl out today, Chloe Henderson, well, she'd had an interesting route down to the edge of the green here on the fifth, but look at that, holing out from just next to the tree there. And, well, she obviously does it fairly regularly, no high fives or big celebrations, but that is a marvellous shot. Well done, Chloe. Her professional is Rhys Mitchell. We can move out to the third now. Uh, back with Craig Laurie's team and Cameron Carnegie holding out a very nice putt after missing the green and chipping on. Good stuff all down. Now, down to the ninth. This was uh, nearest the pin uh, for the juniors today, but we can have a look at Rhys Mitchell. His effort. A professional and very nicely done. Well, that's the standard of a professional. Uh, we're back with Chloe Henderson. Now, we saw her holding out on the fifth, just a few holes ago, and this was her attempt, and setting the bar pretty high early on for the nearest to pin competition, and well, all the competition for that particular trophy seemed to come from the girls on the day, this is Megan Ashley, and Megan just coming up a little bit short, Chloe's uh, nearest to pin effort was still safe for the moment, and out behind Robin Gallen, this was her attempt to try and win this particular prize. And again, a very good effort. Very close, but just not close enough. And uh, nearest the pin was won by Chloe Henderson. Now back to the third. Here we have Kevin Duncan. Out as part of Greg McBain's team. And a long, long putt from the back edge of the green. Very nicely done. And uh, this team was going along very nicely. Back to the ninth. Jamie Seater. After seeing Chloe get closest to the pin with her tee shot, a little bit of inspiration. Well, he very nearly hold that for a two. And that would have been spectacular. Now, in the trees, somewhere near the third green, Angus Forbes. A little bit of advice there from his professional, Ross Cameron. I don't know if it was Ross's advice that got him in there in the first place. But let's see how he copes. Uh, over the path, down the rough, and that's not too bad from there. Good recovery, 
and giving himself a chance perhaps to contribute to the team on that hole. Back to the ninth, the par three, and here we have professional Malcolm Isaacs. And this for a two. Well, that would help the team cause. Very nonchalant. Obviously used to a few birdies, Malcolm. And he was playing alongside Fraser Strachan. And Fraser had found a bunker, but from the edge of the green with his third shot, in it went. And a very deserved high five. Beautiful putt. Another young professional out. And the final team of the day was Chris Nickel. Here on the third with his approach. And the pros playing some nice stuff alongside the juniors. Nice shot there from Chris. Well, he's playing alongside Ross Conan. And Ross, well, we saw a few golfers use the contours. Ross using the trees to help his cause. A little bounce off the branch, down onto the green out the bunker. And very nicely done. Now, having missed the green, Matthew Daly out with Phil McLean. What could he do from a very awkward position? Well, that was a great little chip on. I can tell you, he hold the putt for his three. Well played, Matthew. Back to the third. It's the trousers. It's the man. It's Brandon Simpson. And that's a great putt. That was for his par. Nicely played. Back to nine, Finlay D. Smith, having come up short with his tee shot, played on a very nice chip, trying to make amends, and steady stuff. He was part of the team out with Billy Fife, one of the coaches at Paul's Golf Centre. Now, back to 17, it's Tyler Ogston, long hole over water, he's trying to take on the water to get onto the green, uh, a bit of a rebound off the rocks there. Well, I don't think he'd be expecting that to be coming uh, 40 yards back towards him, but that is exactly what happened. The ball staying dry for him, however. Uh, but just not quite making it up onto the green. Now, out to 11, Jamie Gibb. Part of Greg McBain's team. And a nice chip on. Well played from Jamie. Very steady golfer. And, well... He is now taller than his golf bag, but only just up to the 18th, closing hole. The sun trying to come out for some of the golfers. And Liam Waldron there with a very nice approach, setting up a birdie opportunity. Back to 11. Andrew Yule out with Ross Cameron, the professional. And that is a nice chip after missing the green. And well played. Back again to 18. Well, also part of the Ross Cameron team. This was them finishing off Kyle Holker. And what a beautiful chip that is. Very nice and a good finish. But it wasn't good enough to pick up any of the prizes. Further down 18, Brandon Simpson. Well, we saw him holding a nice putt early on at the third. And this his approach up to 18. Well, setting up a good birdie opportunity. We can take a look to see if he could convert it to finish with a birdie three. He certainly could. Look at that. And quite rightly, a little celebration. Nice finish. Not good enough to get the prizes, though, for Chris Nichols' team, but very well played. Now, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Duncan with his second shot at the par 4 18th from about 130 yards. And in it goes for an eagle, too. Well, one of the best shots we've seen all year. That really is fantastic stuff. And yes, well, you can always click back and have another look, but I think this deserves an official replay. What a magnificent shot. One to remember. There for the cameras. Take a bow, Kevin Duncan. And alongside Jamie Gibb and Finlay Strachan and Greg McBain, the professional, that was good enough to help them to second place, runners up on the day. Quickly back to 17 and Jamie Smith. And again, look at this. Another wonderful shot. Chipping in from the back of the green. Fantastic stuff. The standard of golf today really has been phenomenal from the juniors. And Jamie playing alongside local pro here at Newmacker, Andrew Cooper. With teammates Sam Craig. And up on 18, Tyler Ogston. Well, this was his birdie attempt. And great golf from the four golfers in this team. And good enough to win on the day. 
Congratulations, Jamie Smith, Tyler Ogston and Sam Craig, along with their pro Andrew Cooper, winners of the Paul Laurie Foundation Pro-Am 2014.